Welcome back to Factorio with me, JD. Um, a little bit of time has passed between episodes. You'll see our, our UPS issue has been fixed. I have done a little bit. I wouldn't say a lot, but a little bit, which is going to cause some issues with this episode. But we'll get to one thing at a time. So, UPS Up, which is a mod I have used to death in 014 because my base has just got too big every time um and i didn't actually have a goal then i was just building for the sake of building um yeah um it's finally been updated it's finally been updated it's running for version 15 so i've basically ticked everything i can um already had a um smoke turned off in a separate mod, which might still be installed. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Smokeless is still installed. So it's now removed twice. Um, remove the decorations, which really doesn't have an effect on UPS, but makes the map size smaller. It went from a 200 meg save to a 130 meg save, which is still massive, but smaller. Um, fish are buggered off. Uh, all enemies are gone. Um, go away. Not that, you know, they're gone. Trust me. You know, look at where the radar scan. You can see there's just flat bits where they just don't exist anymore. So, yeah. Um, do I actually have any radar happen to be scanning the right area at the right time? No, of course not, JD. Why would you have that? Ah, oh, just missed one. And this one will get there eventually. Um, oh, there we go. See? No, no biters. They're gone. They're buggered off. Um, so, yeah. We, we, we've we done that one. Uh, I've turned off pollution. So, we already had a mod that turned off pollution. Um, I've uninstalled that one and put this one on instead. And at least now, they have um, pollution. So, we've got a pollution counter on each of our items. Um, oh, beacons don't make pollution. Didn't know that. I thought they did. I know they make everything else around them make more pollution. So, um, yeah, pollution's been fixed up. Uh, biters have been buggered off and expansion's been turned off, which it already was. And I ticked on peaceful mode just for the hell of it. So, we've done that. The next thing I've done to try and help things is every constant combinator on every single uh, outpost. Where are we? Oh, I didn't trim this one down. So, this one, um, it's off. Um, let's pick another outpost. This one, um, it's off. Um, also, with every single um, dump iron into train, it's off. Um, which I'm probably going to have to turn back on. Um, the idea behind this was... Circuit networks at 0 0.6, which is not a lot, but every little bit helps, and we all know that. So the only circuit network stuff I've got is I've got the Kavorax process, which is all done on the circuit network, but it's all basically turned off anyway. Um, I have every single outpost with every single... Go away. Sorry, I'm, I'm fresh from a load, and this is not one of those things I normally fix up before I start recording. Um, yeah, every single outpost, every single smelter was all hooked up via the circuit network just for easy stampability. But we're at the point where it's getting a bit excessive and we're, we're trying to trim UPS wherever we can. So I need to go through every single one, which I'm going to show you guys, not because it's thrilling and you want to see it, but you've now all got a copy of the safe. So I really think it's important that I at least show you what I'm doing once. And then if you guys want to update it to try and gain back some UPS as well, you guys can follow along at home, essentially. Um, so we're going to do that. Um, the electrical network at 2.5. I tried. I uninstalled this mod that gave us the neat solar. Um, which was handy because all the solar disappeared. And then I put down a single... Um, and I've probably still got the mod turned on. I do. Unlimited energy. Where'd it go? Right there. Plop that down. 
It doesn't work at the moment because solar is taking over, but it just produces infinite energy out of one, one single entity. Hoping I get that number to drop. Didn't make an ounce of a difference. Um, so, yeah, uh, you can be trashed. Um, so it did that. Didn't make an ounce of a difference. Moved on to um, the power switches, um, which of course I can't click on from the other side of the map. But every single power switch has been disabled because, in theory, if power's off to something, um, it can't enter a sleep mode. Um, and if you remember way back when I started smarting out the power. That was one of the things I was concerned at. That's why I spent an episode with the red little red circles being up, being uh, active state. Uh, um, and you see everything with a little red circle on it is turned off. Um, so the catch is when things are unpowered, in theory they can't they can't enter this this red state being a sleep state. Um, but yeah. Yeah, we, we, we're just going to leave that for right there. Yeah, you I'm know, not sure. So, um, I decided, look, we, we've now got heaps of solar. Um, let's just turn everything on and let it run. I've also updated to the very latest version, which is, what, 1530? Uh, it doesn't tell me in there. Uh, uh, actually, look at my download folder. Uh, 1530! So, I'm on the latest version, which, believe it or not actually scored me about three UPS points. Um, I don't know why. There's no logical reason why, but it did. Um, I updated all the mods. Um, basically, I've done everything I can to get these numbers back up. Um, hopefully, going through and disabling the rest of the circuit network, and then finishing oil and turning off old oil. Maybe we can maintain 60? Maybe? Slim possibility? No, they're also on a circuit network. I forgot that one. I forgot I started a coal outpost. So, um, we're going to filter for blue chests and filter constant combinators. And we're going to... Yeah, we missed those. We're going to delete all those. Uh, chests, chests. Uh, we're going to set you to... Science packs. 2,000. It's probably a little bit much. Let's go with 100. Copy, paste, and then because I'm lazy, uh, click, 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 click. Oh, there's another one. Stop rearranging my inventory, bots. Done. Uh, now you under. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Um,. This one's not actually hooked up to the trash system, so I'm going to take my trash with me. We've got coal, we've got lasers. One. Alright. Um, and yes, I've still got my running suit on, because we're not doing big building, we're, we're, we're just doing little things at the moment, far, far away from one another. You're off. Why are you off? Ah, okay, so I didn't change this one. Maybe I haven't changed them all. Uh, so that, that equals. Bang, turned off. Uh, paste. Uh, okay, so we use our deconstructor here. Alright, map view. And uh, deconstruct all of them you know what I'm actually going to add stack and service to this as well do the whole lot uh, and now I'll put on the building suit just so we don't run into a train and we're going to go where are these being produced top and bottom okay so we're going to go one two three four uh, stack inserter one, two, three, four. We're going to can't click on it. Map, that's stupid. Uh, we're going to request those and we're going to say 400. 
How much do you hold? You hold 400. Ah, uh, it's overkill. Um, where did my blueprint go? I have a random blueprint. What's this do? Ah! Okay. So we don't actually need that blueprint anymore. Which is good. Because it gives me room in my inventory for one blueprint. Uh, we're going to do... You four without the train track. Uh, there. There. Uh, there. There. And there. Now, there are still constant combinators hanging around. But they're not actually hooked up to anything. Um, they are purely what I was using as a visual representation to tell me what goes where. Um, your robot bullets. So let's change you to red chests. Let's change you to uh, blue chests and stack inserters. And we're trying to clear up some of these chests at the same time. Now, I did have people query me when I said, look, oh, I'm removing a stack of the chests. We just don't need them anymore. And they're like, yeah, hang on, JD. Aren't you just, like, you know, shooting yourself in the foot? Um, you're going to make trains take longer to unload, which means the same amount of inserters, you know, aren't going to end. Woo, train. Um, aren't going to enter sleep state, you know. You really want stuff in a sleep state. If it's in a sleep state, it doesn't count. It's not doing anything. And they're completely right. Um, in theory, look, the way these things are set up, some of them with just two or four inserters is just not enough. Um, honestly, I need, for some stations, I need to have, you know, 12 stack inserters per cargo wagon. I need stuff emptied and filled instantly, pretty much. Um, but in saying that, um, there is a part of the game that's, that's, it's, it's in the vanilla game. It's just, we can't access it. it it's one of the things that the, the devs decided was too OP and turned off. Um, okay, hang on, let's clear you to you. And with that constant combinator. My inventory full. Oh, really? Um, let's just add beacons. Done. Um, yeah, it's a thing called loaders. Now, loaders are awesome. Um, they're basically like a, a, a supercharged, overcharged stack inserter. Um, and they fill up chests much and, and, and train wagons pretty much instantly um where's my blueprint gone did i lose it all right there it is put that down uh no put that in down uh change you to actually let's just leave you blank So yeah, the, the plan is, should we not be able to get stuff moved in and out fast enough, um, I will actually basically either, I think you can access them with the console command, um, if not, I will um, load up a mod and access them that way. I mean, hang on, we're going to blueprint this, where are we here? Oh, thank you, autosave. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we, we're we going to dump another mod in, if we need to. Um, without the train track. Uh, done. Okay, so you are... Uh, low density structures, I think they're called. Yay! I remember that one. Uh, copy, paste, paste, paste. Map view. Uh, paste. Paste. 
Great. Another station fixed. Um, train where these chests whilst I'm standing here. Preferably not standing in the middle of a train when I do so. Really, that's all going to go in my inventory. Thanks, bots. I really needed 3,000 pieces of plastic. Alright. Another station done. Come on, bots. Home you come. Oh, bugger it. You guys can catch up to me later. Um, so yes, we're, we're going to go through and we're going to do this basically for every station, which is a little bit boring. Um, shit. This is a science station. It's going to have a shit ton of stuff in it. it it's got to be everything. Um, Alright, first off, call back our train. Because I can fill up the train. Come back, train. Uh, we don't need that. 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 All that. All that. I have no idea why I have so many substations. Let's undeconstruct this. And have the train filled up, at least. Except I've probably still got more than the train has room. Yep. I have more shit than my train has than the train has room. Oh well. Um I'll do. We'll just dump them anyway. Just hoping to clear just a little bit. Where's my blueprint gone this time? No. I've got to give these blueprints like a unique symbol or something. That one. New icon. We're going to give you pump. That way I can bloody well find you. Fill. 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 Had a thump or something going down. Uh, we want that in there. Fill. I oh know this is definitely going to fall under riveted gameplay. Um, but like I said, I'm trying to show you guys what I'm doing to try and scrape back UPS um, in any way, shape, or form. Because, you know, nobody complained outright at playing at, like, 45. Seems to be about the average from the comments. Uh, 45 UPS. Um, nobody complained strictly, but... When you play a lot of games at 60 and then you come to a game at 45, it feels slow. If you're playing all your games at 45, honestly, you don't notice anymore. Um, and unfortunately, because of the grand scale I tend to build things, I'm quite used to playing at 45 or less. Um, in fact, it's shocking to me sometimes when I join a multiplayer game and, you know, nice little mini base and, well, mini base. It's pretty big, but nothing on my scale. And I think it's cute sometimes that they're running at 60. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're up around the 60 mark again, um, which is where I want to be. 
I'd really prefer to be around about 60 UPS at all times. Uh, I found more chests. More chests. Oops, hang on. Fill that one back up. Come on, so close. Uh, you. We're done yet? No. No. Are we now done yet? No. Are we done yet, bots? It looks like they're done. Play bot pickup. Because yes, my, my building suit even with all its 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 wonderful reactors, still cannot power everything. Uh, copy, paste, paste, paste. Uh, done. And then we'll fill that chest up. Excellent. So basically, that's what you got to do for all of them. Um, now I thought ahead just a little bit not a lot just a little bit um, where are we oh you're still digging out of storage uh, I don't have a blank let's just make you a standard deconstruction um, what are you doing you're doing purple science so like that's still chockers um, and it's chockers because the science labs are chockers the science labs are chockers because we're missing uh, yeah, rocket science because you're missing density structures which you're missing because why are you missing? Why for you not be full? Because they're not being produced because we have no steel. And we have no steel because our iron trains are being stupid because I killed the iron trains. So, um, yeah, well, let's, let's go over to iron and copper and stuff, because I actually killed off, um, all our smelters. Every single outpost, I turn this combinator off, which means, for the, for the whole map, you know, every single iron, copper, stone outpost, I turn off the combinators, um, hoping to empty the chests that are already there. Um, same with the smelters. I turned off this combinator. Um, that one's still running, I think, on all of them. Uh, yes. The problem with that steel train is, and that one, and that one, is they just picked a shit station. Yeah, that, that's the bottom line. Okay. So, yeah, I did, I did get all these. So, all right, as I was saying, see, I'm all over the place today because we're trying to do UPS improvements. So, um, yeah, all the power switches have been disabled, I think. Um, I'm actually going to, as I run through each one of these, disable them entirely. Um, let's go back to the building suit so we've got less of a chance of being run over. Um... Same story. Each one of these is going to be removed. And I'm really hoping the requests are not too high. And they were massive. Of course they were. Of course they were, JD. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about you here, mate. All your requests are always massive.
you know, why request 500 when you could request 5,000? Simple maths. Yeah. Go big or go home. Pretty much sums up my gameplay. Um, Alright, so same story. We take our pretty blueprint that we have for stations already. We line the bugger up, drop it down, change you to be steel. 500, please, sir. Out to map view. And copy and paste. And then I bugger these ones up because I was overzealous. Done. No, missed that. Oh, missed that one. And that one. And that one. And that one. That's not lined up at all. That's no, not lined up. Really? After all that, I still fucked it up. Oh, research. Oh, um, research. We, 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 I, I also updated all the mods. Um, so, where are we? Why don't you tell me what research you belong to? Uh, that one. Oh, there we go. Infinite technology expanded. Um, got an update. So, it, it gives us more, more, more slots. So, we're going to pump these out. Just because they have the best things ever. More inventory space. Um... Yep, keep going. We're going to always have more inventory space. Um, I do believe there is an upper limit. Uh, what is this next request? Five. Oh, I'm clicking here, game. 500. Uh, copy, paste, paste, paste. Uh, yeah, keep him going. This might finally solve my inventory problems. Although, considering I keep deconstructing massive shit, probably not. Alright, done. That fixed that problem. Um, but at the same time... This lovely red wire, which goes to all the requester chests, um, all has to be de 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 deconstructed. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm probably actually going to end this episode here. All right. Um, I've shown you how to do these. I've shown you how to do at least the steel requester. Um, yeah, for steel out. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, look, I'm gonna end it here, I'm gonna start the next episode straight away, and I'm gonna show you how I do at least a smelting block, and then probably, honestly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blueprint it, just because it's easier, and then, I'll, because you guys gotta do it at home, I'm gonna put a blue, the new blueprint in the description of the next episode. Um, wow. Um. That's an inventory. That's an inventory. Um, just because it'll be so much easier for you guys. You, know, you you can go through it and learn the process yourselves. Or you can just blueprint the damn thing. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to end it here. I will catch you guys in the next episode. And we'll go through ripping up the circuit network for this. And then you guys can work out how, how to do it for the iron. And the copper. And the stone. Um, yeah. No, there's no circuit networks on here just for the requesters. So, yeah. All right. Like I said, I'm going to end it here and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next one.